think the fame is starting to inflate that ego of yours. <laughs> is it? Maybe. What's an ego? Oh, don't you dare play Dottie Street. Or has your practice with Belladonna become less plenitudinous? I swear, if I have to snag that skirt for another sit No! I mean... What? Worms wrestling your weight? Goodness be back. Mr. Quinton doesn't like me very much. 
If he doesn't like when I ask Miss Belladonna to review my acts, notes, jokes, prompts, idioms, ideas, locutions, she tries her best to help me when Mr. Quinton is around, but that doesn't happen too much. He works so hard and we all have to do our best to keep up with him, or else he'll leave us behind. And I don't want that. I owe him everything. I wouldn't have anything without the new life I've been given. New life. New life. Chronicle. Depiction, dynamism, exervance, existence, sentence, validity, gusto, virtuous, virtuous. I just can't help myself. I see so many arrangements in my head and I have to find the right, appropriate, clear, conventional, exact, unearning, honorable, fair, virtuous, virtuous, virtuous word. I've asked him to make them go away. But I can't stop the toiling, the tinkling, the tintinabulation, the thundering noises of worlds. Words. Right. The words. The words are all I have. I have no family. Only the words. Mr. Quinson says I'll never be ready, that he wasted too much time. But that's okay. I'm doing good. Or at least that's what Miss Belladonna says. She taught me how to act, make, behave, build, change, create, dodge, dilute, degrade, devolve, erode, evaporate, fake, 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 guys, hide, not, lie, mirage, narrate, orate, parade, qualude, retreat, synthesize, trust, uproot, vice, worry, 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 what? What about X? What's the deal with X? <laughs> X doesn't help anyone. Why is it even there? And you're the show, everyone. Finally, purpose. Cute. 
What? Sorry, I'm a little tatterbrained. Trying to hodgepodge a haiku isn't as easy as I make it look. <laughs> Apology accepted. Now stop being so conundrumatic. <laughs> oh, you, you stirring upstarts! Your push pieces have possessed me, and now I'm primming about my past again. Sorry, Bella. I was just. I don't want to hear it. Spot! <laughs> 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 oh, to be a performer in the prime, I would give a good for nothing mini up like you in a heartbeat just to see it all again. See what? You still perform. <laughs> Life is what I imagined it to be. 
So I'll stay dredged in my dreams, decadence in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> but, but not all fine times age with grace, and the cruel grapevine of time was beginning to toil upon my tail. And then you, when you came in all eyes and shoes, I let you clown me into thinking I could be tuned the object of your desire. To hear such youth sing my praises sent me soaring. Oh, so I stretched my scales, curled my hair tighter, wore my best dresses, and looked for you in the crowd. But all I heard was the applause. They were. That fine fantasy became nothing more than your tool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but a holy war, the conquest of love. A game for the lame, taking two in name, but you showed your hand. Painted pretty in suit, the king and queen. How boorish. Where's the thrill of the bluff? Taking advantage of me, my feverish love. <laughs> so <coughs> I used all of my womanly wiles to wiggle you in so that I may have my little pet with me. Who was playing? Discussing operatic history late into the evening, the longing glances and chaste touches. Well, if I could go back to that night, the night of no return. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of them as it is. 
that minute, that one right there is mine. You can't have it. Okay, Sour. <laughs> I'll give you your minute. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to us? No one gives two fucks about the circus anymore. No, not the assortmentorium. <laughs>
is ever, ever going to lay a finger on me. You and Rusty can do whatever you guys feel comfortable with, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Really? 
How many? And they all performed for the circus? Well, what do I have to do? To join. An oath? That's the circus for you, very official. <laughs> stop that, that's not funny. Hey, seriously, stop that. I'm just trying to talk about what our plans are for. No, I didn't check on the animals yet today, and to be honest, it isn't my job. I'm not the ringleader, am I? Am I? No, I'm saying I'm not the ringleader. Will you just listen to me? No, I don't care what Bella did or didn't say to you after your new bit about the performing fleas. You didn't even do it right. You were supposed to act like one of them fell into your pants, not that your pants... You're right. You're right! I wasn't the one who came up with the bit, but you asked me what I thought back when you first started. Oh, so now it's my fault. God forbid anyone tell you how it is, huh? You want us all to keep lying to you. Fine! Did you hear the applause tonight? I did. They saw us out there. They saw me again. I tried that new part of the trick I showed you back when we stopped that. No, I... I don't hate you. I'm just trying to talk about... My problem? This whole show is my problem. I wouldn't be so upset if you weren't such an ass about this being your show. When's the last time you pitched it around here? All you do is rehearse the same three bits you've been doing for the past... You're right. I'm sorry. I'm being too harsh. Could you at least tell me I did a good job? Would you please just... I want to remember how it feels to be behind a smile again. You always used to, before I knew, but I want my best friend back. I keep finding myself back by that waterfall, listening to the woods echo from the gust of wind, feeling the cool air against our skin. We were the sky together. Everyone was looking at us, and you were only looking at me. It all seems so clear to me now. Damn him, I know he'll do it. Why can't I just leave? I can just leave. I can leave? I can leave. Yes, they have to be, because if they aren't, then I have a notion. 
no-show show. And if I have a no-show show, then then I'm a no-good ringleader with a no-show show. My reputation will be a joke, more of a joke than it already is. Only you to give me the laughing cough, but of the choke, winded by the sucker punchline. I can't go back to that, not after. No. <laughs> I can still have the last laugh. <laughs> I can't believe it. How could I have been so blind, so inept, as to not see the diamond in the stuff? <laughs>
a clue what I have to do. I'll figure it out, surely. I will get to forge my own path all over again. Nothing is going to get in my way. One day, I was walking on my toes. 
tightrope, finding my balance anywhere on the uneven dirt road or the uniform pavement sheeted by its fault. But in my mind, <laughs> it's a tightrope. <laughs> I know 
not everything is good. I know not everyone is good. But I don't pay attention to that. I've never made anything better. I'd rather make someone laugh than cry. Actions speak louder than words.
Was I wrong to want more? I couldn't stop it. This. It. I needed something to call mine. Mine. My own doing. My own punishment. A world balanced on my back. Who else can make something from nothing? Right? I've made something. Isn't it wonderful? I didn't need anybody. Belief in the self cannot be taught, only forgotten, just where it's given back to the ethos, pathos, atmosphere, crying into the cesspit, no longer separated by the stars. I'm here. See me. You're all looking, aren't you? You can't imagine the weight, the fear, the lead, the dread in a world where you can look away. You need a distraction. Some gnome sense, or wherever you find that night. That'll do. Relax. It'll all be over soon. You're so close. You have the talent. You just need a chance. You just need to know people. You just need to believe. Show up, build up, talk up, grow up, give up, shut up, upsides, 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 showtime. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for a night of amazement. Tonight, the Assortmentorium presents to you a series of acts sure to entertain the mind, body, and our opening act, the most boisterous balloon boy to ever besiege the building, our wonder king.